While you may not have to be an AI-first company like Google, we still recommend having AI and specifically Gen AI at the forefront of your company's strategy. Right, Google has this whole Gen AI ecosystem, but only you know your business and its needs best. And you may be all excited about using this new Gen AI technology, or completely nervous about integrating it. Either way, we wanted to recommend a strategy and an approach for thinking about it. Yeah. Don't just jump into the newest technology headfirst without a plan. This is true for Gen AI, but also for any new technology. So let's start to think about not just how and where to use Gen AI in your business, but also how the structure of your business needs to change to effectively implement Gen AI. We recommend a two-fold approach, where you simultaneously work top-down and bottom-up. What do we mean by that? We want to combine high-level strategic planning with practical input from teams who will use the technology. Top-down, bottom-up. Exactly. When we say a top-down approach, we mean you should create a clear and compelling vision for AI within your organization by aligning AI solutions with your strategic business priorities. Focus on your business priorities first. Think about the most important use cases and workflows to your business, and then and only then, think about how AI can support you in those priorities. That isn't enough. If you only work top-down, you can miss so many Gen AI opportunities. You also want to simultaneously use a bottom-up approach, where teams are encouraged to share their challenges and ideas for Gen AI solutions. Sometimes, the best ideas will come from the people who are closest to the problem. You want to make sure these people can also bring in Gen AI. Because Gen AI is so accessible to people in all sorts of roles, encourage employees to use Gen AI at a small scale, and then share their solutions with the organization for broader implementation. And that's why that first top-down approach is really important because you want all these mini ideas and experiments to one, have a place to fit into the greater strategy, and two, be experimented on in a way that is safe and responsible for the company. All right, and with that idea of keeping both a top-down and bottom-up approach in mind, let's take a look at the deeper details of what that actually means and how to implement it. Ready to learn? Let's dive in.